Greetings, math friends. Today we're talking about prime and composite numbers. My dogs, Cat and Bubba, are going to help us sort prime and composite numbers, but before we do that, I should probably give you a little bit of vocabulary. Do you know the word factor? A factor is just one of two or more numbers being multiplied. So, for instance, in this equation, 4 times 5 equals 20, 4 is a factor, and 5 is a factor. Of course, the product 20 has other factors, like 2 and 10 and 1 and 20. But then there's some numbers out there that only have 1 and themselves as their factors, like 19. So those are going to have a special name, and that special name is prime. A prime number is a whole number greater than 1 that has only 1 and itself as factors, like the example I just gave you, 19, and here are some other examples. Now, what do we call numbers that aren't prime numbers? They should have a cool name, too, and they do, and it is composite. A composite number is a whole number that's not a prime number. That should be easy to remember. So we could think of many examples there, 4, 9, 10, 21. I could go on and on. But let's go back to sorting our pile. So what do you think about the number 22? Is it prime or composite? We know that it has 1 and 22 as factors, but what about... 11 and 2. Okay, so since it has factors other than 1 in itself, we can give it to Bubba. 17. Hmm, we know 1 and 17, and I can't think of any other, so we'll let that one go over to Cat. 15, we know has 1 and 15, and then it also has 3 and 5, so that one we call composite. 29 has 1 and 29 as factors, and I can't think of any others, so we'll give that one to the prime group. 16. Hmm, 16. Well, I can think of several here, you know, 8 and 2 and 4 and 4, and let's just throw that in our composite pile. And lastly, we have 47. We know that it has 1 and 47, and I can't think of any other, so that one goes to our prime friends. Excellent sorting job. So let's just do a pile for practice. Let's start with 43. We know that 1 and 43, and I can't think of any others here, so we call that Prime. 27 has 1 and 27. It also has 3 and 9, so that one is, boom, composite. 37 has 1 and 37. I can't think of any others here, so that one gets a prime stamp. 19, 1 and 19, of course, and then if you can't think of any others, boom, that one's also prime. 51, number a little bigger. We know 1 and 51, and can you think of any others? Hmm, hello, are you thinking? Hmm, oh, I know, 3 and 17. We know 3 is a factor of 51 because of divisibility rules, right? You remember. Okay, so that one's composite. Moving right along, 25 has 1 and 25. It also has 5 and 5, which makes it composite, ding. And 23, hmm, 1 and 23. I can't think of anything else. He can have a prime stamp. And last, we have 33. We know 1 and 33. And can you think of anything else? Hmm, looks like one of our 11s. 11 times 3, which makes this one composite. Now you are a prime and composite number expert. Go forth and practice some on your own.